close game from Frost in the last uh, basketball action in this arena uh, for the year, and I think it kind of went out with a bang. Uh, two wins, two convincing wins over uh, some, you know, mediocre teams. Western Illinois uh, not very competitive on either side. We'll talk about the women first. They win uh, 65 to 40 was the outcome there. 40 points. Is that a season low? No. Close. Utah Valley right away. It's okay, right to start the year. Yep. Close, but. Um, talk about their performance. Uh, they keep they keep improving, uh, shooting the three, um, and they really just kind of had the Leathernecks in control. Chip, it seemed like. Yeah, I thought they shot the ball well. Uh, three pointers, nine of them, and then Western Illinois doesn't make any, and and uh, it didn't seem like Western Illinois got very solid shots off. They always seemed like they off balance, and uh, you know, a, a good win for SUSU. Uh, they need wins, and, and they got one, and we'll see how they do Monday night. But they should yeah, they should. Yeah, and they, they keep getting better play from their upper class. Uh, but, you know, these players kind of step their game up a little bit. Uh, kind of making a move. Uh, looks like they might they're making get themselves in position yep. to, to you know to, to play their best basketball uh, one month from now in Sioux Falls. Yep. Um, but we'll we'll touch on the men now. Uh, the men, of course, kind of handled um, handled uh, the best of it again. The final was 81 to. 82-61. 82-61. I never remember the final score. I always have to look at uh, Anyway, uh, we'll get into that. Um, it was a night, you know, where they, you know, honor the seniors. Uh, and, you know, they've been great. Uh, they didn't necessarily need to be great tonight by any means. Uh, they, again, kind of got out to a lead early, double digit lead, and they kind of, you know, held it there. I think, you know, this game was kind of over, you know, early in the second half. Well, just, your, you know, just, just your thoughts on... On you know Sergeant Moss in particular, and you know and, and Tibbs as well. How you know how these guys you know they've been great, and they're going to continue to need yep. to be great here the rest of the year. Yep. Well, Sergeant is just a good shooter, and I think I noticed it more tonight. He's just a really he's a good defender too. He defends well, and I think we saw that tonight. You know he had a good game, had uh, uh, some ten odd points, and yeah. and it had a good game. And Moss he brings a lot of energy, a high flying. Kind of guy, he's the yeah. vocal leader of this team without a doubt. Yeah, and and then Tivis is just a gritty defender, too. Yeah. And, and he'll go after any ball, he's, he's a smart player, so and that, that's all you can really ask out of your seniors when they do a good yeah. job. And they didn't really need much out of them tonight. Uh, I think they only got 15 odd points, yep. between three of them combined. So, um, Jordan Dyke shot 20 points all in the second half. Um, so there's you know, some great underclassmen that are going to be going to be uh, heavy contributors here in the future and even to end this season so um, but it looks like they're playing well they got a really difficult three game road trip to end the, end the year yep. um, but I think you know the way they're playing they have a shot to come out of that 2-1 I mean you always want to look at winning road trips and I think that's yep. you know what they're going to be striving for uh, but they're playing good ball right now and that's about all you can say uh, about them right now um, so yeah two wins today um, little concern amongst fans because early in the year uh, you know they weren't winning these games nope. uh, so now there's been two straight sweeps the double headers so quit complaining all right 82 61 final in the second matchup uh, and that that wraps up the year in cross arena we'll be here Monday women against IUPY so stay tuned see you then